Sup, back with the Tales of Arise. Time to continue exploring the city. What's this? Is that a tired looking customer I see? You'll find the perfect inn right behind me. While you're out waffling, you could be resting in one of the best, most soothing beds you'll find in town. Give me some time. I'll get to it eventually. Yo, another another Renan soldier we can talk to. Hey, guardsman, shouldn't you be working? I don't know what it's like in the realm you come from, but here in Menancia, everything's peaceful. There's zero chance of anything bad happening. Well, yeah, thanks to the Lord, life is nice for all of us. Yeah, see? And it's more than just us anyway, there's also the guardsmen. Nothing's gonna break if I slack off. Nonetheless, the reason the city is so peaceful is because you ran in soldiers are around. All the younger kids idolize you, so don't shatter their illusions, please. You've got a silver ton, mister. Fine, I'll make this drink my last. <laughs> That's a nice conversation. You know, it's... You know, I'm happy to at least see these type of conversations. Where, like, someone doesn't... Where someone doesn't get, like, the crap beaten out of them because they speak... They speak ever so slightly bad. Let's see. One, two, three, four... Ah, I'm missing one. Huh. Hmm, what should I make go with dinner? Dad's been a little out of sorts lately, so I want to lift his spirits some. Good question. Uh, if, o if only I could be Lord Dohalim's bride. It's always Lord Dohalim with her. You know, it's kind of creepy, dude. You're literally just poking around a corner at, at, at the girl I suppose you like. The Earth Lord. So, do any of you know anything about Lord Dohalim? Dohalim. I think I remember hearing something back in Sislodan about how he fights using a rod. A, a rod? rod? I don't know the details, like a staff? but from what I gather, he swings a long rod around and uses it to stab and smack people from afar. Huh. I think there's also something he does with, like, trees or grass or something? <laughs> I forget. Grass? Grass? Bear in mind that Elda Menencia harvests Earth astral energy. It would be no surprise for him to have some sort of control over plants. True. So basically the point is we know nothing about the guy. Wish we weren't going in completely blind. I mean, we didn't know much for... for... Uh, shit. What was his name? You know, the man that killed Zephyr. I don't even want to remember his name because he was such a jerk. I've been given orders not to let anyone through here for the time being. Come back later and it might be open again. Okay. Well, I appreciate him not being... Not being too high-strung about it. So, enemy... Uh, sorry. Hoo-hoo. Uh-oh, there's one around here somewhere. Look up, look down, look around. Uh can't shriek another drop. Oh. Cutscene? <laughs> I take it you folks are all travelers. It's so wonderful to have you all here. I guess. You really don't bat an eye at us being together, do you? Even though we have a Renan with us? Mm -hmm. Are you surprised? I suppose it might not be a common sight elsewhere on Dana, but here in Viskin, it's a part of everyday life. <laughs> hey, if you want to visit this the palace, do we keep... Hey, if you want to keep visiting the pa- Ah, God, you, you get the point. I'm not gonna- I'm not sure. gonna stumble on that line for much longer. Yes, that's exactly right. Although, if you ask me, the training grounds might be more up your alley, since you all appear to be that- of that persuasion. Training grounds, you say? Is that code for some kind of arena where you make complete strangers fight and kill one another for sport? <laughs> no, absolutely not. It's nothing terrible like that. The training grounds are what they- are what they sound like. It's true that years ago it used to be a really gruesome place where slaves had to fight each other, as well as vi vicious zoogles. But when our cur current lord, Lord Dohalin, came to power, one of the very first things he did was put a stop to such an awful spectacle. Hmm. You're telling me a Renan lord did that? The place was 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 then refurnished and it, and it reopened as a proper place to train, like it's known for these days. <laughs> It's mainly designed to be used for the Elder Menancia Guard, but it's open to anyone who wishes to use its facilities. Hmm? 
Anyone? Even Danons? Sure. Of course. The arena is far too punishing for me, but if you're looking to hone your skills, I recommend you pay recommend you pay a visit. Training grounds for all. For real? Damn. Shit, we're gonna have to check that place out. Head to the training grounds. Excuse, excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me, ma'am. What are your plans after dinner tonight? Somewhere around here. I'm telling you, ma'am, we don't deal in that. Don't you have any room to bend here? I need it for my newborn grandchildren. I really wish I could, but I can't. Could you ask around in other stores? Welcome to Viscant. The city is open to everyone, even Danons like you and me. I really want to find this frickin' owl. It's somewhere around here. Hoo hoo. Hey ma'am, we're almost out of liquor. Goodness gracious. We're still getting customers. Go go buy some more for me, quick. You're a real slave driver- Oh, sorry. You're a real slave driver sometimes, ma'am. There's two girls speaking there, and I just messed it up. Ooh -hoo. Let me just run in circles until I find this thing, because it's clearly around here somewhere. Um, it's, it's here somewhere. It's freaking going off like crazy. Oh, wait. Nope. Oh, there. You got a halo on your head. Why, thank you very much. See you later. Nailed Maybe it. something's going on in the forest. Uh, we already went over. Oh shoot! Can we go over there? No, that's blocked off. Can't go over there quite yet. Uh, let us see here. Let me talk to you. I haven't talked to you. Up ahead, you'll find the grounds of Autolina Palace, the manor of Lord Dohalim. Dohalim. You're free to go near it if you like, but please mind your manners. Why, thank you very much. I feel like somebody's watching us. Boomst. Maybe there's someone around here who needs our help. Oh, that's just one of those types. Dude with a quest. Okay! I gather you guys came here along the highway, yeah? You didn't happen to run into that thing along the way, did you? Uh, what thing? Talking about the huge Zoogle that flies around the skies, occasionally dropping down to attack both people and Zoogles alike. Mm -hmm. It attacks even Zoogles? Well, that's something you don't meet every day. Hmm. Yeah, this guy's really something. Even the uniforms have had a hard time dealing with it. I've even tried putting a bounty on it to sweeten the pot, you could say. But everyone's just about giving up on it. Got it. In that case, we'll handle it. I'm sure we'll find a way to get rid of it. Mm -hmm. Really think you have what it takes? I mean, you all look capable, don't get me wrong, but... We've got this. Don't worry. As a matter of fact, we've got someone who can practically shoot down flying zoogles with her eyes closed. Just great. You mean Shion? I don't think she's gonna appreciate you volunteer volunteering her for this. La Listen, Laz is confident in her abilities. Well, if you think you can handle it, that'd be great. You'll find it flying around Tr Trislilda Hi Highway. Normally it'll leave you alone, but it... It's if it sees a fight break out, that's what it, when it swoops in to cause trouble. Well... Meaning that the only way to attract its attention is if we fight some other Zoogles first. We've got it. It's a pain in the ass to be sure, but a clever pain in the ass at that. Well, we're off to go hunt it. You better have that bounty ready by the time we get back. All right. Of course, I'm a man of my word. Happy hunting. Claiming a bounty. I still gotta remember to... To, uh, let's put that one on the back burner. I, I'm more curious about the other one. What are you gonna use the prize money for? What else? Eating until my stomach bursts. God damn it. That sounds right up Sheon's alley. Not wrong. I mean, he did volunteer her. Okay, so it's out here, it looks like. Claiming a bounty. Okay. I just can't shake off the sluggishness lately. It's not like I've been drinking much. Sounds like a bit of a you problem, my dude. Why, hello there. Jumps jumps down from, like, a frickin' flight of stairs and instantly tries talking to a dude. If I was him, I would've been like, Jesus! 
The gate over there is locked down at the moment. There's no going through it. Not like anyone wants to go through anyway. The realm it leads to is dangerous. Huh. Oh, whoops. That's where we had to go for the training grounds. Here's the kids. Did all those people move here? That says that people used to have to carry lots of heavy and dangerous stuff. I don't know if I believe... I don't know if I believe that. I can't imagine that that kind of stuff ever happened, happen, ever happening here. Huh. I wonder if something happened. Oh, another dead dude. Dead <sighs> as hell. Oh, it's you. Uh, What's wrong? Hey, are you okay? Wait, you're that foodie we ran into before, aren't you? Yes. Oh, why, hello there, blazing sword. I haven't seen you since we were in Cislodia. Needless to say, I'm hungry. <sighs> Again? Well, I'll give the man some of those mushrooms you just picked. Ah! ah, you never learn anything, do you? Just what sort of wretched fungus are you trying to sh stuff down my throat? I don't know, I think they're pretty good. How? I wish I shared your unfounded courage, my boy. Anyway, that's beside the point. I'm here in Viscan on important business. <laughs> Through careful investigation and some sneaking around, I've acquired a top secret recipe from none other than the palace itself. However, I'm short on ingredients. Could I ask you all to procure what I need once more? Huh? Back up a little. What was what was that you said about sneaking around? Before I answer that, tell me, do you enjoy meat? Depends on the type you're dealing with, buddy. Hell yeah, I do. Who doesn't? Well, I'll be careful who you say. This man could be extremely shady. <laughs> well, the recipe I pilfered is none other than for beef stew. A first-rate dish that's all about its meat. Hey. So you did steal the recipe is what you're saying. So what if I did? Who cares? Now what do you say? Will you gather what I need or not? You know, you seem to be the worst person we've met in the city so far, not gonna lie. Alfred, I'm pretty sure this guy's breaking the law. And I'm not talking about myself. Eh, he only uncovered a recipe from the from the palace. I don't think that quite makes him a criminal. <laughs> Laws is like, he's breaking the law, but no one's capable of breaking me. Precisely, I simply took what I learned from those snake eyes I saw in Cislody and put it to use in the name of fine cuisine. Am I really hearing this? What I need is meat and potatoes, as well as mushrooms and tomatoes. You know, that sounds like something that a witch would say, like Gruntilda. Sounds like a nursery rhyme, she'd say. Meat and potatoes, mushroom tomatoes. You'll get those for me, won't you? We have what you need. Right. You've already got what you're looking for. Nice work. Nice work. In that case, I need you to follow this recipe here and cook me a beef stew right away. Oh, why are you making me cook again? <laughs> Can't wait to see how this turns out, Alfin. Oh, brother. <sighs> Come on, isn't the stew ready yet? Right. Sorry, Law. Says here I have to let it simmer for five hours. No way. Five hours? The beef would have tasted perfectly fine if we just drilled, grilled it up real quick. I don't believe this. If that's how you're gonna act, boy. Then you can't can forget about having any. Law is an impatient lad. He is not built for this type of stuff. Great! Alright, looks like it's done now. Very nice. Oh ho, look at that beautiful dish. It smells just as divine, too. Now for the taste test. What? Oh, this this is absolutely exquisite. I'm in heaven, truly, this is a golden age of cooking we live in. I guess. That doesn't really tell us anything about how it actually tastes. I'll say. I feel like his reaction is even more dramatic than last time. Law. Oh well. Why don't you try some next, Law? Yeah. Sure, I'll have some. Whoa. Holy crap! This meat is so tender! I feel like it's gonna melt, melt right in my mouth! And the sauce is so rich and packed with the, with the taste of the meat and veggies. It gives the whole an unbelievably deep flavor. Is that... These veggies, too! They're so meaty and tasty. Just the way they are, they make for a really nice complimentary side dish. Oh, this is bad. Whoever came Real up with bad. this meal really thought of every dish through. I could see why the palace would serve it. You 
No, Gordano, you could take a page out of Law's book when it comes to actually explaining how something tastes. Ah, uh, you people don't understand anything. All that, all that boy does is flap his jaws. Listen, you uncultured old. Flavor is something you express with your whole body. No, your very soul. Were you watching that? Did you see how I moved with every fiber of my being? Open your eyes wide and, and burn this next sight into your brain. Ready? Absolutely. Just great. I get it, I get it. I was wrong. No need to get all worked up about it. Oh, he's actually like smiling with his eyes closed like, oh, good lord. <laughs> also, Law did better. His word, he, he used some exquisite wording. Yes! Putting that aside, my palate and stomach are completely and utterly satisfied. I can now leave this realm with no regrets. He then dies a second, a third time, actually. <laughs> it's time I, I, I leave in search of even greater cuisines. Farewell, my culinary comments. Beast new recipe. Not to mention golden S beef. Man, that was amazing! No wonder the old man was so gung ho about it. Not wrong. <laughs> See? What did I tell you? Shion? You've got sauce on your face. <laughs> oh my god, the that quick gasp and then the frickin' text is instantly going away. It's the Renan Armored Soldier's job to uphold order in the city. The guardsmen can't hold a candle to us. We're not like those other insurgents. We're under orders to keep this gate sealed. Not like there's much to see before you reach the next room over anyway, just a little pond. I guess we're just not allowed to go out there yet. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a resistance to this place for some reason or another. We got- there was w both the Crimson Crows and the Silver Swords, after all. Oh well. Time for us to head up the stairs. Hum, 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 hum. Dum, de dum, dum. Gotta get these flowers to grow nice and pretty for, lo for Lord Dohalim. Dohalim. Uh. Act now, or you'll regret it. I guess I can just walk right up to her now. Wait, who are you? Be gone with you, suspicious lout. Something wrong? Oh no, just wondering how I might approach the lady tending the trees over there. Don't approach me out of nowhere, you mere Danon. Well, that's the first r bit of racism we've seen. Now look, are you truly from another realm? He wants us to keep allowing unrestricted entry? Has his lordship gone mad? Huh. Uh, I was stuck on you for a second. These two guardsmen seem a bit more racist than the rest of the, the soldiery. Hmm. I don't know. There's something fishy going on there. Are you looking to immigrate here? If you want to live in the city, apply with the Citizenry Affairs official over there. Don't worry, they'll get you all set up. Hi there, are you wanting to immigrate here? It's passing through, actually. You're a traveler. Don't see many of those. It's a dangerous world out there. Most people who try to flee end up attacked by Zoogles. The city has both security and lodgings aplenty. Take your time and enjoy your stay. I should hope so, we're quite proud of it. Immigration arrangements can be made at any time, so don't rush. Take a look around the city. We do have lodging, so there's no hurry to decide anything. I have the honorable duty of guarding Lord Dohalim. Dohalim. I got I gotta remember the pronunciation, god damn it. Should this really be here? Probably not, but hey, I ain't gonna look a gift horse in the mouth. I would talk to you, but I also wanna wanna check out this. Actually saving the plot for later for once. Quest complete. Training grounds for all. Oh, we just had to enter the place. SP accumulated. Last shot. Penetration plus 20. <laughs> I keep making that same joke. Let's focus on KO prevention just so we can get elemental defense up. NPCs saved. Ooh, 
probably getting pretty close to that one. All right. Whoops, forgot about the others. Huh. Faster flaming edge charge. Hmm. Boost strike damage. That's actually real nice. I will gladly take that. Can never have too much of Flaming Edge. Let's wait for the mid-air jump and let's get Dragon Shot. Uh, let's try Dragon Shot instead. Let's talk so to these people. Are the training grounds. The atmosphere here feels different compared to the rest of Ascent. It's just a nicer name for a place where people go to fight. Yeah. So? It's still a good way for us to test our strength. Stop sweating the small stuff. <laughs> okay, this time I'm gonna give it everything I have. I've been training for this day. I know I can do it. I hope so, but what are we gonna do if if you get hurt in there? Oh. Wait, there was no one else there. Were you talking to yourself, dude? Do you have multiple personalities? Ah, <laughs> my fists feel like a ball of fire. I bet I can take the advanced trials no problem. Now, now, don't get ahead of yourself. You're drunk again. Did you forget you flunked the entrance exams for the guard? The reason your hand feels like that is because you punched a wall, dummy. I suggest you stick to the novice fights if you know what's good for you. You know, it takes a special kind of stupid to walk up to one of us armored soldiers, pull out your weapon, and try to fight us. Come on, can you really blame me? Your weapons are so big and strong, I couldn't help myself. What are you, five? I like this with everything you see. Think about what you're doing before it gets you arrested. Huh. Dude's actually getting warned. He's only getting off with a warning after after attacking an, a guard. We guardsmen have been undergoing rigorous training ever since we entered the guard, dedicating ourselves to one goal, ultimate might. Not one inch will be given to any rotten zoogles that dare to cross me. Just cut them down and toss them aside. Cut them down and... Man, the people who get picked to join the guard sure are something else, aren't they? He's been yelling that stuff for a while now, but I haven't seen him actually step up to the reception this entire time. <laughs> well, we sure will. Welcome to the training grounds, the Pride of Viscant. If you're going, if you're looking for a place to take your training to the next level, you've come to the right place. We embrace anybody who walks through our doors. As long as you want to improve yourself, you'll always have a place to train here. I can already tell just from simply looking at you that you don't want, want to simply improve, either. You want to be the best at what you do, am I right? Then step right up and throw down the gauntlet. We'll be more than happy to put you through your paces. Hmm. I can choose between solo and group. Let's, I mean, I think we should go with law... Considering, you know, it's law. Fess. Level 20. F Ugh. Yee. Huh. Well, it seems like we're a low level. I think we can deal with some in level 20, maybe. I hope. I doubt we're gonna die from doing stuff that involves. that's called training. But, just in case, we'll save. Here we go. Let's accept the challenge. Let's see what this is. Two apes and ethern mat and earthen mass. These are new enemies. Out of here. Out of here. Here we are. Flushing Fanny. Easy. Limmer Dragon. 
What about you? Just what you see. Oh shoot. Wait, there's new enemies? What? I guess it I guess it would make sense that it's in rounds. Out of here. Get him in the air. Get him. Here we go. Here we go. More hit it. Here we go. Look sharp. Lightning Tiger Blade. Okay. <laughs> oh, damn. We haven't fought these enemies at all. Here we go. Tenebris Claw! Good damage all around. Here we go. Just take him out. Here we go. Look sharp. Lightning Tiger Blade. Oh shoot. Decimated. Dive kick. <laughs> we did it. First try. Recommended level means nothing to me. Got some silver dog tags. Oh, so we can only challenge it once an hour. Interesting. First clear. Oh, that's re recommended level 30. I think we'll have to come back here earlier. That's very interesting. We can get freaking golden sin cleaver armor. That sounds. That sounds very cool. Also very flashy. But hey, as it works. Okay, we'll finally talk to you. Curious what, about what I'm wearing? I bought this myself, if you believe it. Nowadays, we Danans get paid a fair wage for the work we do. It's all thanks to Lord Dohalim. Huh. That's all of them. I still can't believe I'm seeing Danans and Renans getting along. You never know. It could all be an act on orders from the Renans. Yeah. To what end? It would be an incredible amount of effort just to fool us. Well, there's two bad ones here. Let's check out more of the city. There's probably places we haven't seen yet. Okay. Look around Viscount some more. Uh... We haven't gone to the palace yet. Frankly, I was skeptical about coexisting with Danans, but you get used to them. Hmm. That dude's a silent, the stoic type. Do you have business in the palace? If you do, if you do, speak of the Danon over there. Okay, that dude. Another silent guard. Isn't this city so beautifully verdant? The climate is nice, but it's important that we take good care of this place. Lord Dohalim wants the, the city's scenery to remain well preserved. He puts so much consideration into ensuring we lead pleasant lives. Oh, we haven't talked to this dude, so let's head to the palace, shall we? This is Adelina Palace, the man the manor of Dohalim, Lord of Elde Menancia. Entry is forbidden to all but those with his lordship's express permission. Please remove yourself. Oh. Well shit. That didn't work. Where do we have to go then? Well I guess we haven't spent a night at the we have yet to spend a night at the inn, so maybe that. My dad's working in the quarry today. So is mine. I'm gonna help him when I grow up. Quarry? Huh. Well, let's go in here. We haven't gone to the inn yet. Looks like we get to sleep with a roof over our heads. Craft an accessory. 
move plus escapes. I can increase my movement speed? Yo. Yo, hold up. That sounds real good. Can we enhance it? Uh, I see no reason not to. Oh, goddamn. Oh. Sure. Hey, that looks pretty good. Uh, I feel like well, we already have. Actually, no. We'll put it on. We can put it on law. And then we'll put mm, we'll put the warrior emblem back on you. Oh wait, no. There is a place to forge here. I'm the local blacksmith in these parts. If you've got the materials for it, I can make just about anything you like. Oh, damn. That's a cool looking one. Oh, that looks sick. Yo. That actually works well with her, with her outfit, too, because of the black. Okay. Thunder Nail. For the light astral enemy it holds. Not even thick, heavy armor can halt the advances of its slender pointed blade. And the flare claw. Okay. So we can use most. Huh. We can get most different types of energy with this. Keen Giga Fane, Granite Fane. You know what? Let's get this. I can get that. I can get Radiant Light. Ooh, I'm a fan of this one. Nature's Beauty. Nature's Beauty? You mean what Aqua from Konosuba uses? The party trick? Yeah, whatever. Flaming Gaunt. Oh, this looks so pretty! Holy shit! Yo, you know I'm freaking using that. Hell yeah. It would be remiss not to use it. Get as many things as I can. And yeah, sure, we'll get that as well. And we'll save the other ones for later. See you again. Arms Collector. Yeah, that sounds about right. Oh shoot, more AG? Yo! A downward sword swing that slams enemies into the ground. Huh. Increases critical damage. That's a nice one to aim for. I mean, we've got a lot of good ones, but that just seems very nice. I'm impressed how well balanced this thing is. Um, anything we don't have much of, maybe more of these. Save on those. Hmm. Cook before resting. This is perfect. I'll have everybody's mouths watering when they see this. <laughs> well, that's a new quote. Damn, we spent half an hour on this episode already? Crazy. Alright, well, time to explore more of town, I guess. I don't know where to go, though, considering we've spoken to literally every NPC already. So I gotta go to the entrance? Around this again some more. There's gotta be a certain place I've got ahead. Hmm. Well, we've gone to the palace. That didn't work. Maybe somewhere up here. Maybe. The oh, this place is open now. Okay. Looks like Danins are working in the quarry. Let's go check it out. Yeah, that sounds like a good thing to check. Let's go see what's over here first. Up ahead is the is the Galen, Galane Woods. It's outside of our patrol area, and it's dangerous there, so stay away. Oh yeah, yeah. let's go to the quarry, though, if we can. Across here is the re Resume co Quarry. You're free to visit, but try not to fall into the grinder. Getting ground up to bits is no way to go. Alright. 
Well, let's see what this quarry looks like. If any place was to gonna look like slave labor, it'd probably be here. Stay sharp. We're going in. Oh shit. There's already a person I'm out sorry. The ground. I'm not feeling well today. Could I please take the day off? Oh, that's terrible. Rest up and try not to strain yourself. I'll let the others know. Huh. Thank you. I appreciate it. They seem to be understandable about that stuff. Hey, this isn't a good spot to be lying down. You might get hurt. Everything okay? Oh, sorry. I just feel a little off all of a sudden. Need to rest. Maybe the air is getting a little stale here. Might not hurt to go outside and breathe some fresh air for a while. Huh. I keep a close eye on the worker's health and any injuries that occur. You have to in order to keep things safe as possible. Huh. Anything over here? The hell's this? Like a generator? Heck yeah. Heck yeah. But you know what they say, hard work is its own reward. Just gotta find the motivation to work in the first place. True. Not wrong there. Check out my guns. I've been working, I've been building them up, working with my pickaxe. Impressive, huh? They sure are. I've got a feeling you're gonna do well in the training grounds. I wouldn't get too cockery. Your, your opponents aren't going to just sit still and let you chip at them like those rocks you're used to. Is this dude drunk? Looks like it. Uh, back before Dolhalim came, you could never imagine taking a break like this with them Renans running the place. I know. Now the government bureaucrats give us way more trouble than any sol soldiers ever did. <laughs> you can say that again. Everybody seems so happy working here. Yeah. It seems like the soldiers are there to actually protect them rather than keep an eye on them. Yeah. I don't get it. How can it be like this? Well, that's clearly where we're supposed to go, so let's talk to the last person here. Whew, nothing like a knocking back a stiff drink after a long, sweaty day of back-breaking work, am I right? Hmm. What's over here? Maybe this is like a, a deeper place that's like worse off. Halt! <gasps> I know you! I have seen you before. I presume you're Alfin of Orbis Calaglia? I'm Captain Kisara of the Elder Menencia Guard. Menencia Guard. Just Kisara? No last name would make you a Danon. So it does. Is that a problem? A Danon? The Guard. Wait, so you're saying the Lord of Elda Menencia has Danons protecting him? In this country, Danon guardsmen aren't unusual. Huh. Everyone who enlists does so of their own free will. Really? She sounds like she's serious, Alfin. That makes no sense. Don't your people remember seven years ago? Wouldn't you be grateful if you were finally allowed to live as a free person? True. And for my part, there is no greater honor than being chosen to serve His Excellency. Lord Dohalim, Do I feel Dohalim. no shame. <laughs> huh. But all of that aside, I came seeking you, Alfin, Us? at Lord Dohalim's behest. What the shit? He wishes an audience with you. W with us? Indeed. He awaits you at Ottolina Palace. That is, if you choose to accept. I am here only as a messenger, not a kidnapper. Your reply? Damn. All right. We'll meet your lord. Very well. I shall return and deliver your acceptance. Please don't keep him waiting too long. Okay. Damn, she got and a nice ass. Go, oh, sorry. What lies <laughs> beyond this point? I was really uh A quarry manned by Dan and laborers. Nothing else? There's a Dan and medical facility for the severely ill at the back. However, for sanitation reasons, it's kept off limits, even to guards. Damn, she got a nice spot. Why do you think this Dolim would want to see us? It's probably a trap. Mm. Still, they already know we're here. Not like we can start being stealthy now. We might as well listen to what he has to say. True. 
Hey, are you sure about going? What if it's a trap? That's no reason to back out now. Yeah. Boss, right. I get your concern, but we should buckle down. Yeah. Sorry, I did not mean to be horny on Main a, f a few seconds ago. I was not expecting that much cake when she turned around, is all. <laughs> that Kisara woman. She sounded pretty smug about serving Doholi, didn't she? She still has a Renin for a boss. How is that any different from being a slave? Uh, a bit different, Renin I'd say. Renin society is a meritocracy. To us, it's seen as natural that those who sit at the top rule over the rest. It's the same old wall as the rest of Dana at the end of the day. Just with a different coat of paint. More pleasant coat. I guess it can change people's attitudes if they can at least serve someone they respect. Yeah. But they're still being deceived. It's obvious that's what's happening. On the one hand, her loyalty really did seem to be genuine. But on the other hand, Calaglia had its fair share of Danans who just accepted Ren and Rule because it was all they'd ever known. Mm -hmm. With that in mind, it can be hard to tell if her loyalty truly came about on its own. Or if it's just the result of years of subjugation. True. We Who knows? It might clear some things up if we hear what Doholim has to say. True. Yeah, you're right. Let's make our way to the palace. Yeah. There's a lot to be discovered here. We should keep an open mind for it could go either way. This co this place could either be be a death trap in disguise or it could be just that. A nice place. I don't sense any more enemies. Was there enemies in there? I just don't get it. The Danans have endured years of suffering. How could they just turn around and trust the Renans all of a sudden? Yeah, I've been wondering the same thing. But I guess they must have a pretty good reason, right? Yeah, you would like think. Like what? What could erase 300 years of pain and suffering? Maybe it's precisely because they suffered for so long that they see Dohalim as something of a savior. Yeah. Hey! Whose side are you on here, Alfin? Relax, Rinwell. All I'm saying is that we shouldn't jump to assumptions about these people until we know more about the situation. Yeah. <laughs> I just don't get it. Rinwell's a bit clouded. Her has a bit of clouded judgment from her hatred of Renans. She certainly hates them more than anyone else we've seen. I guess that towering structure at the center is the palace. Probably. You think it's dangerous to go inside? It's not a question of danger. We're going inside regardless. All the birds flying off into the distance. As they faded out of existence, I mean. Uh, well, there's Kisara. But, hmm. I don't know how long it'll take inside the palace, so I think we'll save that for next time on Tales of Arise. We'll head into the palace and meet Dohalim. Adios, ciao, and bye-bye. Signing off until next time. Ja, mata ne.